Hi guys! Are you looking for an easy recipe to make awesome chole using canned chickpeas? Look no more, you have reached your destination. I am going to share my secrets on how to go from this to this. Looks nice, right? Okay, so here's what we need. 1 cup of canned chickpeas washed and drained. Please note that these are already cooked. 2 tablespoons of cooking oil. The whole spices we would need are a couple of small pieces of cinnamon, cloves, cardamom and one medium sized bay leaf. 2 teaspoons each of finely chopped ginger and garlic. 5 to 10 curry leaves. 2 medium sized onions finely chopped. Around 3 to 4 green chilies finely chopped. 2 medium sized tomatoes finely chopped. The masala powders that we need are half a teaspoon of turmeric, 2 teaspoons each of red chili powder and coriander powder. 1 teaspoon of garam masala and 2 teaspoons of chole masala. 1 to 2 teaspoons of salt according to how salty you like it. 2 cups of water and 1 tablespoon of ghee and a cup of chopped cilantro leaves for the final garnishing. So let's start making this delicious recipe by turning the instant pot on to saute mode. Add oil when the pot turns hot. Add the whole spices and wait for it to crackle. Add the chopped ginger and garlic and stir well till the raw smell is gone. Add curry leaves, chopped onions and the chopped green chilies. Keep stirring and deglazing the pot well. Add the chopped tomatoes and salt. Give it a good stir and keep deglazing the pot. If you find the pot too hot, adjust the saute mode to a lesser heat setting. This would avoid it from burning. Now add all the masala powders. Keep stirring and deglazing the pot till the masalas don't smell raw anymore. Then add the chickpeas and give everything a good mix. Add water. Stir well again and deglaze the pot if required. We can then close the lid and be sure to turn the valve to ceiling. This is very important. Now turn the pot off and adjust it to manual mode and set the timer for 10 minutes. Once the 10 minutes are done, we should wait for the pressure to release naturally. When the pressure is released naturally, turn the pot off. Carefully turn the wall to venting and take the lid off. Give it a good stir so that the ingredients are mixed well. Turn the pot back on to saute mode. 
This will also help us to thicken the gravy if we like to. Add 1 tablespoon of ghee. After the ghee is mixed well, add the fresh cilantro leaves. Give it a good stir and the amazing chole is ready to be served. Enjoy the yummyliciously awesome chole. Best when served with bhatura, rice or any kind of roti or bread. Thanks for checking this recipe out guys. Do try this and let me know how it was. If you like my videos, please share them with your friends and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.